Hi guys. How are you guys doing? I am doing good. Um, well, I am back and I uh, have something to show you. I haven't been able to buy yarn in such a long time. And um, Lion Brand had a special going on where if you ordered $25 or more, you get free shipping on their brand, but ordering through Joann's. And I thought about it and thought about it and I thought, okay, why not? Because number one, I needed more yarn for my blanket. And with that deal, I can't pass it up because 99% of the time, that's how I get my yarn. If it's on sale, if I have a coupon, and since I'm working on a king size bed, <laughs> the cheaper the better. Um, so I had to get some more of this, and this is the cupcake, and the colorway is Tundra, and I can't even tell you how many skeins are in that blanket. A lot. <laughs> so anyway, I got some more of this, and then I got this called uh, Summer Nights and it's got sparkles in it this one is called what is this Treasure Island it's so pretty now the one thing I didn't do was pay attention to the weight of the yarn it's a one which is a fingering weight and I didn't realize that I've never worked with this tiny uh, weight before so it was a bit of a challenge I also bought one in the colorway uh, castaway and that's the one the first one I used and I made a shawl I don't remember when I started it. It was last week sometime. And I used every bit of it minus like um, a foot or something. Not enough to do anything with. Um, oh, how rude. I didn't even say hello to my new subscribers. I've had a few anyway my name is Esmeralda <laughs> sorry about that I just I never plan anything I just do things on a whim and since I finished it I thought I'd come on and show you okay how many yards does this have this is 200 grams of an ounces 875 yards or 800 millimeters um, it's like I said a uh, super fine number one and it calls for a e-hook or 3.5 millimeter and as far as needles, it's a three or 3.25 millimeters. I used a hook because I crochet. <laughs> anyway, I love the pretty colors. Uh, another thing you should know about me is I don't write patterns. I don't read patterns. I am a free hand crocheter. Everything I make is a one-time deal because I don't write anything down. The only thing that I would say gets duplicated is if I make your basic beanies and s stuff like that. But when I make shawls, they whatever I throw in there is is what I make. See, I started off here with a few increases, and these are just double crochets, and then a little bit of lace there, and then I did. I don't even know what this is called. This is where you do. Uh, I don't know what this stitch is called. I'm sorry. I just do them. <laughs> and then some more double crochets. And some more of that stitch thing right there. And then some more double crochets. And then here, you got V stitches. Some more mesh. And then you have the cross stitch. And then you have down here, you have... Uh, just whatever I did there, I don't even know. And I absolutely love it. I 
I just put stitches together. That's what I do. <laughs> I pick up a hook and put stitches together and make stuff like this. Uh, I tried once to write as I was working on a shawl and it takes the fun out of it. Let me tell you why. Because if something doesn't add up, I have to rip it apart. I, I took this apart several times because of that. So it's hard to try and put all that into a pattern. You know what I mean? To stop, erase. And it takes the fun out of it. And I, I've had a few times where someone asked if I would write a pattern or if I had a pattern and I just don't. I'm sorry, I'm not gifted in that area. So I apologize. I apologize for that because I don't, I don't do that. I'm sorry, I just create, that's all I do. Um, so anyway, I finished this, I'm happy with it. And um, like I said, I have this, I ordered more of this. My favorite color is green. I love green, all the pretty greens. I love blues, the browns and everything, but green is my favorite. And right after green comes my blues, my browns and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, I do love this. I do like the weight. It was hard to work with at the beginning because like I said, I've never worked with it before. And working with a small hook does kind of hurt my hands a little bit, but you know what? I watch uh, Pam from Pam's Crochet Corner. Oh, I'm gonna put her link down below. And she always ends her videos with these exercises that you do. And that really helped. So thank you, Pam. Pamela? Oh, I don't wanna mess up her name now. It is Pamela, isn't it? <sighs> I'm all right. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm in love with the way this turned out. And uh, with this here, I planned on making me a top. I did get more of this yarn. Um, but another thing I did is I was watching a new person. And I shouldn't see. I don't put anything down. And I just do things on a whim. And now, I don't remember her name. Because I didn't take the time to prepare. Uh, anyway... Um, the fiber floozy okay um, I just ran into her channel she'd subscribe to me so I was watching some of her uh, videos and I thought wow she's pretty awesome I like her so of course I subscribed and she was doing a video of some destashing she was doing and I thought you know what I'm going to support her which like I said, I rarely do this because we are just, you know, a one income family and it, you know, uh, had a lot of medical issues and, uh, and it just, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But I figured, well, it's my birthday month and I um, have some birthday money and I thought I would um, do some spending. <laughs> so anyway, I ordered one of her mystery boxes um, as a birthday gift to myself and it came yesterday and she was so cute she's like you do know this is you know from my stash and I'm like I know but like I said I haven't gotten yarn for a long time and she showed what and that's a video I will put in there for you guys to see anyway um, I was just excited to be able to buy it because like I said she did a video and you know she got some nice yarn I'll show you what I got and they're already caked up, which is nice because I don't have a jingamathingy. Anyway, this is really pretty. Looks like a lime green to me. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So she's got a $25 box and a $30 box. I got the $25 because it was acrylic. The $30 box is um, has got wool in it. Look at this pretty purple with the sparklies in there. I think these might be the same. She does have the things here, but I didn't take anything out. Some of them fell off. I'll do this one. Let's see. This is a Karen, your inspiration, and the colorway is Grape Sparkle. And it is very pretty. And then this one here. 
Must be one of those cake things, but see what we can do. See, these go together, I think. And this one here kind of looks like a gold. It's very pretty. And then this is called a willow. 60% cotton, 40 acrylic. So what the colorway is. It just this oh, clear spring. It's a pretty little blue there. I wonder maybe I can make a small beanie with that. And then we get into some big cakes here. Look at this blue, it's so pretty. It's a little bright on, on the phone here, but it's darker. It's like a navy blue, it's really pretty. And here's another one. This one feels a little bit softer. So I think they're different. They are different because I could tell by looking at them. You can't tell, I don't think, but I can tell by looking. Well, maybe you can now, see? This one's darker and a little bit softer. But they are pretty blues. I like them. I'm really happy with this box. And three of these here. Which are really nice. This will make a nice shawl, I think. And then there's this one. This is really pretty. This is Lemon Drop. I know I saw the, the little ticket somewhere. And I can't remember where it went. But this is Lemon Drop. And it's so pretty. It's really soft, too. Anyway, um, that is the yarn. But she included some little goodies. I got this pin. It says cat nap. I love cats. I have a dog. We did have cats, but uh, they're not with us anymore. And this pretty key. I love keys, especially ones that look like this. You know, just antique and just old looking. It's so pretty. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but, because I don't drive, so I don't even have like keychains for keys. <laughs> but I like it. I love keys. And, oh, this smells so good bath salt infused with 100% pure silica oils, lavender, cedarwood, lime, and Roman chamomile. This smells amazing. It smells amazing. And a little candy, and I actually love these. <laughs> so anyway, her Etsy shop is the Essential Blossom. And, uh, it came fast it really did and she is so sweet that's coming out backwards in there isn't it anyway the essential blossom and on YouTube she is the fiber floozy and I'll put her link down below um, oh this one also came in there Savannah's choice in beige which is pretty cool because I already have a skein of this in my craft room that's just a single ball laying there so now I can make something nice with it. So another thing I ordered when I ordered my other yarn, which I forgot over here, it's yarn barf here, is this Baby Soft. I like the color, that's why I got it. Sweet Pea. And I have no idea what I'll make with this. Maybe a shallot, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, that is what I got. That was my one finish object. I am going to continue to work on my blanket and hopefully it will be done by the time the so-called cold weather here in hot Arizona comes. <laughs> but the reason why I like this yarn is because it's a weight three so it's not very heavy so I'll be comfortable enough with it in the bed I guess. I don't know. I was thinking maybe I could make one with like fingering weight but it'll take me forever. So I won't. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I have. And uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, so if I mention anyone, I will put that down below. So that uh, you get to know who I got this yarn from. And uh, thank you 
Thank you for hanging out, for watching, for subscribing. Um, I hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And hopefully I'll see you soon with some more yarny goodness. Bye, guys.